Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Phantoms Yu-Gi-Oh! Back with another Locals recap. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, the first time I tried Marincess at Locals. Actually, the first time I played it at all. I maybe played like three or four online matches, but other than that, this was the first time I let it rip. So I just brought it to Locals, whatever, for the um, Power of the Elements sneak preview. As you can see, I pulled pretty well, so I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you what trades I picked up. I'm gonna show you my deck list and what I thought about it. I did not play the standard build. I played um, something a little bit different. You know, I didn't come up with it, but uh, it's not the same deck that you saw top Nats. Um, so I'll just go through my main extra and side and then, yeah, I'll just talk about what I liked and what I didn't like and what I would play going forward. So um, I'll just start off with my pulls from Power of the Elements. So I bought two uh, sneaks and I got one of the Tier Elements Field Spell, and then one of the Secret Rare uh, Tier Elements Fusions, Kaleido Heart. So I pulled like really well for buying two sneaks and can't complain one bit about that. And then I also wanna show you some stuff I picked up, I bought, I just bought straight up for my collection. Uh, one Ghost Red Eyes Black Dragon and one Ghost uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm trying to collect one of each Ghost Rare first edition. Um, and I have six six more to go after picking up these two. So uh, we're getting there, we're getting close. Uh, getting the Stardust is gonna be a pain in the ass, but that's the only like super big one that I have to worry about. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it's going along well and I'm happy with these pickups. So now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and get to the Marin Says bit and I'll just talk through the uh, deck it's kind of standard lineups a little bit, but um, I'll just talk about you know how I felt about the cards and That kind of thing. So uh, starting off with the main deck the Marin Cess monster lineup is standard It's just three blue tang three seahorse three spring girl two pascalis and one sleepy maiden uh, Pretty standard. I think everyone's playing this uh, lineup now everyone's pretty much cut Mandarin for the most part Um yeah, uh, can't complain about this lineup. I don't I don't think I would change anything. I think this was totally fine in terms of the Marincess cards. Uh, and then I did play, as you can see here, I tried out the shark package. I really like shark cards, which is why I picked this up and I thought it was uh, really cool for the deck. So it's three Abyss Shark, two Silent Angler. Uh, if you're not familiar, this uh, Abyss Shark came out in the most recent Legendary Duelist set with along with all the other Marincess support. And what this does is you can reveal it in your hand uh, if you control a water monster. And then you special summon it and search a fish card. Um, so you can search Silent Angler, which is just another extender. So uh, I thought this was really good because it can put out Totally Awesome before your fifth summon. So it's anti-nib if you open this. Um, you can just make uh, whatever rank four you want. Or you can just extend with it as water monsters. So uh, yeah. Um, I'll talk about this a little bit more after I get through the whole deck and what I thought. Uh, then we just go into the hand trap lineup. Uh, I played 12 hand traps, 3 Ash, 3 Ogre, 3 Valor, 3 Nib. Uh, still on the Nib for this tournament in the main deck. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with it in the main deck going forward because the only thing I think it's really that dead against is Tier Limit. Um, I know against Splite if they just go straight into uh, Gigantic or gigantic or whatever um, Nib is dead but usually you have one of these other hand traps to stop that gigantic effect and then Nib just clears their board at the end of the day so I think Nib plus any other hand trap is really good um, if you're trying to cut down on hand traps you would cut Nib because if you cut anything else then Nib is more likely to be dead as well so um, yeah I think this this 12 hand trap lineup is going to be the way to go maybe trying to try to find a way to fit like dd crows in there but uh for now this is pretty good um yeah let me scoop these up and then on to the spell cards i was on three marincess dive for this um tournament for this list one ocean one wave um a lot of people are playing two dive that's fine um i, I like three for now and i'll show you what i cut instead of dive um, here we have, I played three talents as another going second card. I like talents because you can steal monsters that you can't otherwise get over or, um, you know, that are, that are problems. And I know you could do that with droplet as well, but I think talents is just more versatile a little bit. And, um, 
because you're just a one card combo deck, if you can talents going first turn one and rip a card, I think that's so strong and pretty much locks in the game for you right there. Uh, I was only on two sign at mining, so I decided to play three dive uh, and two mining instead of the other way around. I didn't have any problem with that, to be honest. Um, I think since any of your Marincess cards, uh, monsters are just um one card combo basically i don't think mining was super necessary to play at three because just searching additional marinsas cards is uh unnecessary and i'd rather have another interruption rather than a little bit more consistency with sign and mining i didn't think it was needed uh, and then the last two cards to round out the deck i played one called by and then i played one main deck harpies um just because i wasn't sure how popular mystic mine would be plus harpies is really strong into stuff like floanderies going second and stuff like that um i think i'm gonna play one harpies in the main going forward until mine is banned i don't see a reason not to and maybe even after it's banned then i'd still play it i don't know i just think harpies is really strong everyone is setting some kind of back row or setting up some kind of um i don't know interruption even if they just set droplets or set imperm or something harpies can just trade one for one which is really nice and I don't see why not. So yeah, that's the main deck. I think it was, I, it might've been 41. I don't know, you guys can go back and count. I'm not sure what it was, but it's something around there. Um, I'll just go through the extra inside then. And then I'll talk about how I felt about the shark package. So uh, extra is, is, I think is standard now. Uh, I played two slug, one sea angel. I probably bumped sea angel up to two because I did not use some of these cards. I'll show you which ones. Uh, two Anemone, one Marbled, one Coral Triangle, one Aqua Argonaut, and one Bubble Reef. So those are the Marincess links. Um, again, I'd probably bump up to two Sea Angel. Um, okay, the other links I played was one Area, one Splash Mage, and one Access Code. So uh, these two cards I did not make in the four games I played. Um, I went two and two, by the way. I beat Sword Soul round one. I lost to... Branded Despia in a super close matchup. Um, I lost in time, uh, but I think I had like enough advantage where I could have beat him game three, but it was just his turn at the end of time, so uh, I had no chance. And then um, round three, I lost to Sky Striker. Uh, game one, I lost to Mystic Mine, and game two, I lost to There Can Be Only One. But I was, you're actually able to like play around there can be only one a little bit with this and like have a chance to out it, but he had just had hand traps on top of that, so I just couldn't do anything. Yeah, round four, I beat a Sky Striker player. Um, yeah, I just had the out to mine and uh, was able to combo through the interruptions, so that was pretty good. Uh, that's all the links, and then I played the three Xyz monsters, one number four, one Bahamut Shark, and one Toad. Uh, these were really strong, and I actually made, like, rank four plays are just your power plays, I feel like. Um, they're super underrated. I'm going to look into if there's any other rank fours I would play that could um, kind of, like, be flex spots over something like Access Code, because I just never made this thing. Uh, I never made Splash Mage. I know it's part of a one card combo, but it just never came up. So I would consider at least cutting access code for another rank four or for a Sea Angel. Um, and maybe I'd even cut the Splash Mage for uh, one of those as well. So, yep, that's the extra deck. Pretty pretty standard though overall. Uh, and then onto the side, I'm sided three draw. So the deck I was really scared of was Floundries because this deck has a pretty hard time against that. So I sided pretty heavily against uh, Fluandry. So I sided three Droll and then three Lancia just for that matchup. Uh, three Twin Twister also kind of for that matchup. And pretty much for anything else. I actually sided in Twins uh, every game except for Despia. So I sided in against Sword Soul going second because I was afraid of something like Anti-Spell or some kind of Floodgate. Um, I sided in against both Sky Striker matches, obviously. So, uh, yep. Yeah. And then I played three Chalice in the side and then three D Barrier. And that was my 15 card side deck. Um, I really didn't have any problem or any issue with this side deck. I think I would keep it the same. Obviously Lancia is kind of uh, just heavily siding towards Floanderies, but um, there was nothing else I would have rather had in here for this particular tournament. So I think Lancia is fine. I wouldn't change it if I were to play it again, uh, for example, next week. So. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now I just want to talk really quick about the shark package. So um, pretty much 
all the topping Marincess decks are not playing sharks. They're just playing more interruptions instead of sharks. Where the heck are these guys? Uh, they're here. So uh, pretty much you would cut these for just probably another set of like five hand traps or something like that. Or and like the signet mining or whatever. Um, just to have more consistent engine access. But pretty much what happened was or what the deal is with these sharks is that because any of your Marincess cards are full combo, like any additional extenders doesn't really get you anywhere with your extra deck. Unlike other combo decks like Dragon Link or whatever, you can go like into insane like four or five negate negates on the board. But with Marincess, you're just like one card standard combo gets you everything you can get out of your extra deck. And just having additional extenders doesn't really do you anything. So a lot of times I'd be ending with just like Abyss Shark sitting on the board in defense mode. Um, you know, I'd, I'd have like two extenders unused in hand, which is great follow up, but like it doesn't stop my opponent from just like getting through my board and then I'm just sitting on some extenders while they're just comboing off and OTKing me. So um, pretty much the like crux of it is these cards are a little bit overkill. Uh, you don't really need a lot of extenders in this deck. You probably have uh, two Marincess monsters in hand. And that's enough to get through an interruption um, going first anyway. So this came up on occasion, but um, in general. And then uh, a couple times I was opening hands that were just like five uh, extenders. And I was going second. So it kind of sucked. It was like a couple Marincess monsters, you know, a, a Marincess dive and like an Abyss Shark and, you know, Called by the Grave or something. So like going second, you're just getting run over because you have no hand traps. So I pretty much, I wished I had hand traps uh, more than having these cards. So that's what I would change going forward is I would just cut these for hand traps, cut these for probably three DD Crow, uh, one sign at mining. And then uh, I think I was playing 41. So that would just be 40. So I would just play three DD Crow or maybe like three Chalice in the main to out the window for tier limits or something. Um, I think that would be fine as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, I had a good time playing this deck. I really like this deck. Um, I think I would just cut these shark cards. Uh, the one benefit of these shark cards is they really facilitate rank four plays uh, just by being able to search Silent Angler uh, and going into Bahamut or Stealth Crag. And Stealth Crag actually won me a couple of my games that I won um, this weekend. So, uh, I think it's worth for that. But otherwise, nah, I'm just going to cut them. And, you know, at worst, I'll play like Silent Sea Nettle. Uh, maybe for like two rank four extend level four extenders and then just cut the abyss sharks for um, Hand traps, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment like subscribe if you enjoyed the uh, Style of video and we'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you later